if a student's email account needs to be reset as far as their password goes, um, it's a real simple process and you can actually do it from your own email address. So for example, I'm going to log in as Philip Chan. And Philip Chan has the permissions for Live Oak, and this is just an example. And he can change the passwords for any Live Oak student. Now, not the staff, this is just for students. We'll be providing the site administrator the ability to make these changes, and the site administrator can let us know who else at the site could use this same level of permission. Now, once you're logged into your email account, all you have to do is at the top URL, type admin.google.com. And this takes you to a special admin area where you can change passwords. Now, remember Peter Chan is a member of just one school, and that's Live Oak School. So when Peter clicks on users, if you see on the right-hand side, you'll see all the schools are grayed out, but Live Oak students are not. You'll also notice that we can't reset the password to the staff or the teachers, and the reason for that is is because that's actually managed through a completely different system. Now, you could scroll through each one of these emails and look for the person that, that you want to update, or under the search area, let's say I want to update my daughter's email. I would type Emily Carrillo, and I just hit enter, or I could have clicked the search, and it shows a list of the different Carrillos, or different Emilys for that matter. This is the Emily Carrillo that I want to reset. So I click on Emily Carrillo, click on the name, and then up on the top right, you see this little lock box, and then it's got a arrow that goes around in a circle? That's the password reset. So I'm going to click on that password reset. I'll type in the standard password that we use in general. And be certain to make sure you check mark this require a change of password at the next sign-in. Click reset, and it says it was reset for Emily. Great, okay. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and just see what it would be like if Emily logged in. I'm going to go ahead and click sign out. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll just log in as Emily right here. And it's going to ask her for a new password. Now by the way, that's what Emily would have done. You would not do that for the students. Uh, but I just wanted you to be able to see what the student would have experienced.